interpret the results of data analysis using ChatGPT. In this video, I will show you how to interpret the results of data analysis using ChatGPT. Powerful AI solutions like ChatGPT boost everyone's productivity, even data analysts. Using ChatGPT's natural language processing capabilities and asking the right prompt, data analysts can quickly and accurately get ideas and insight into their tasks. So let's get started. This is ChatGPT's site, chat.openai.com. Here, I will enter prompts for data analysis and see how ChatGPT respond to each prompt. This is my Microsoft Word document. In this document, all the results of data analysis in the form of table are given. I will ask ChatGPT to interpret the table one by one. Number one, confirmatory factor analysis. This is my first table. Results of confirmatory factor analysis. As I don't know the interpretation of this table, so I will use chat GPT. Copy the table. I will say interpret this table. Paste the table. When you paste the table in chat GPT, it doesn't come in proper format. Only the content is pasted. Press enter. In this way, you got the interpretation of the table. The table presents the results of confirmatory factor analysis comparing two valuation models, the initial model measurement IMM and the final model measurement FMM. The analysis assess the fit of these models to the data using various statistical measures. In summary, the improved status in each row indicates that the final model measurement FMM outperforms the initial model measurement IMM. In terms of various fit indices, suggesting that FMM provides a better fit to the data according to these measures. Number 2. Reliability Analysis and Average Variance Extracted this is a table of reliability analysis and average variance extracted. Copy the table. I will say interpret this table. Paste the table. Press enter. Here is an interpretation of the table. The table presents the result of a reliability analysis and the average variance extracted AVE for different constructs variables in a study. These constructs represent different aspects related to the topics of all the variables in the research paper. The interpretation of the correlations and relationships would depend on the specific hypothesis and research questions of the study. Overall, this table provides insights into the reliability and relationships among different constructs in the context of all the variables mentioned in the table. Number 3. Descriptive Statistics This is the table of descriptive statistics of the respondent's profile, percent, mean and standard deviation. Copy the table. I will say interpret this table, paste the table, press enter. Here is an interpretation of the table. The table provides descriptive statistics of the respondent's profile including percentages, means and standard deviations for various demographics categories like age, group, gender, designation, education, experience of current organization, total job expertise. 
The table provides insights into the demographic characteristics of the respondents, with percentages indicating the distribution within each category. The mean values represent the average values assigned to certain categories, example age, groups, genders, and the standard deviations give an indication of the variability or spread of responses within each category. These statistics offer a snapshot of the respondents' profile in terms of age, gender, designation, education, experience in the current organization, and total job expertise. Number 4. One-Way ANOVA This is a table of one-way ANOVA with demographic variables like gender, age, designation, education, experience of current organization, and total work experience. The values of dependent variable and significant or insignificant value. I don't know the interpretation of this table, so I will ask Chat GPT to do so. Copy the table. I will say interpret this table. Paste the table. Press enter. Here is an interpretation of the table. The table provides the results of a one-way analysis of variance ANOVA conducted to examine the relationship between different demographic variables and a dependent variable DH. The table also indicates whether the relationship are statistically significant or not. Below, it is explaining the relationship of dependent variable with gender, age, designation, education, experience of current organization, and total work experience. In summary, the table presents the outcome of the ANOVA analysis of each demographic variable in relation to the dependent variable DH. Significant indicates that there is a notable difference in the mean values of DH across different group of the demographic variable while insignificant implies that such a difference is not statistically significant. Number 5. Means, Standard Deviations, Reliabilities and Correlations This is a table of means, standard deviations, reliabilities and correlation with demographic variables like gender, age, designation, education, experience of current organization, and total work experience. The values of dependent variable and significant or insignificant value. I don't know the interpretation of this table, so I will ask Chad GPT to do so. Copy the table. I will say, interpret this table. Paste the table. Press Enter. Here is an interpretation of the table. This table presents mean, standard deviations, reliabilities, Cronbach's alpha values, and correlations among different constructs variables in the study. The constructs being examined are independent variable, moderator, and the mediator. The names of different variables are written. The interpretation includes means and standard deviation, reliabilities, Cronbach's alpha, Correlations In summary, the table provides a comprehensive overview of the means, standard deviations, internal reliabilities, and correlations among the constructs in the study. It helps to understand the relationship between different constructs and their statistical significance levels. Number 6. Mediated Regression Analysis Results this is a table of mediated regression analysis results including independent variable, mediator, and dependent variable. To understand the interpretation of this table, I will ask Chad GPT to interpret it. Copy the table. I will say interpret this table. Paste the table. Press enter. Here is an interpretation of the table. The table presents the results of a mediated regression analysis that examines the relationship between independent variable moderator and dependent variable as mediated by the intermediate variable of moderator. It is showing the interpretation of mediated regression analysis, variable R and R2, indirect effects, direct effects, 
Total effects. Bootstraps results for indirect effects. In summary, the mediated regression analysis indicates that both the indirect effect of independent variable on dependent variable through mediator and the direct effect of independent variable on dependent variable are statistically significant. The bootstrap analysis reinforces the significance of the indirect effect and, and provides confidence interval estimates for this effect. Number 7. Moderated Regression Analysis This is the table of moderated regression analysis for the interactive effect of independent variable and moderator on mediator. I will ask Chad GPT to interpret this table. Copy the table. I will say interpret this table. Paste the table. Press enter. This table presents the results of a moderated regression analysis conducted to understand the interactive effect of independent variable on the dependent variable. The analysis aims to explore how these variables collectively contribute to explaining the variation. Here is an interpretation of the table. Step 1 shows the control variables. Step 2 shows the independent variable and the moderator. Step, step 3 shows the interaction effect. In summary, this analysis suggests that independent variable, moderator, and their interaction play significant roles in influencing the mediator. Number 8. Moderated Regression Analysis This is another table of moderated regression analysis for the interactive effect of independent variable and moderator on mediator. It shows conditional direct effect of X on Y. I will ask our GPT to interpret the table. Copy the table. I will say interpret this table. Paste the table. Press enter. The table provides the results of a moderated regression analysis that examines the interactive effect of two variables on a dependent variable. The analysis aims to understand how the combination of independent variable and moderator influences the mediator. Here's how to interpret the table. Number 1. Conditional direct effect of independent variable and moderator on mediator. You can see the results. Then additional information. In summary, the table illustrates how different levels of moderator interact with independent variable to influence the mediator. The results indicate significant effects for all level of moderator, suggesting that the combination of these factors have a meaningful impact on mediator. Number 9. Results of simple slope test for significant interactions on mediator. This table is showing the interaction, dependent variables, and the moderator condition. I will ask Chat GPT to interpret the table. Copy the table. I will say interpret this table. Paste the table. Press enter. This table presents the results of simple slope test conducted to examine the significant interaction effects of two variables on the dependent variable. The analysis specifically looks at how the combination of independent variable and moderator impact the mediator at different level of moderator. Here's how to interpret the table. Number 1. Results of simple slope test for significant interaction on mediator. In this way, you got an interpretation of the table with all the details and values explained. Number 10. Moderated regression analysis for the interactive effects of mediator and second moderator on dependent variable. This table includes the dependent variable and step 1, step 2 and step 3. Let's ask chat GPT to interpret the table. Copy the table. 
I will say interpret this table, paste the table, press enter. This table presents the results of a moderated regression analysis examining the interactive effect on the dependent variable. Here is how to interpret the table. Number 1. Moderated regression analysis for interactive effect on dependent variable. Dependent variable predictors step 1, step 2, step 3, not. In this way, you got the interpretation of this table in detail. Number 11. Moderated regression analysis for the interactive effect of mediator and second moderator on dependent variable. This is another table of moderated regression analysis for the interactive effect of mediator and second moderator on dependent variable. It shows conditional direct effect of X on Y. I will ask Chad GBD to interpret the table. Copy the table. I will say interpret this table. Paste the table. Press enter. This table provides the results of a moderated regression analysis that examines the interactive effect on the dependent variable. The analysis aims to understand how the combination of mediator and moderator influences the likelihood of engaging in dependent variable. Here's how to interpret the table. Number 1. Conditional direct effect of moderator on dependent variable. You can see the value of moderator effect bootstrap standard error, t-value, p-value, lower confidence interval, upper confidence interval, and additional information. In this way, you got the interpretation of the table using chat GPT. Number 12. Results of simple slope test for significant interactions on dependent variable. This is my last table. This table shows the results of simple slope test for significant interactions on dependent variable. It includes interaction, dependent variables, and the moderator condition. Let's ask ChatGPT to interpret the table. Copy the table. I will say interpret this table. Paste the table, press enter. This table presents the results of a simple slope test conducted to explore the significant interaction effects of two variables on the dependent variable. Here's how to interpret the table. Number 1. Results of simple slope test for significant interaction on dependent variable. Interaction, dependent variable, moderator condition, beta coefficient, p-value. In this way, you got the interpretation of the table. The integration of chat GPT with data analysis in SPSS is a powerful combination that allows for more efficient and effective data analysis. By using this AI, you can draw insights faster, making your research process significantly more streamlined. It's clear that artificial intelligence is not just the future of data analysis, it's already here and the time to start utilizing it is now. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you for watching this video.